Good morning from Panacea, Florida. So on our last adventure, we showed you our travel from Panama City Beach over to here in Panacea, Florida. And we've been here for four days now. We haven't actually done a single adventure. And that's because it's rained for three of those days. It also dropped the temperature from the 80s to the 30s. And as you can see out here, it's our first beautiful day. So we're gonna take advantage. We're here at the Holiday Island Campground on this bay, which I can't say the name of because my Texas accent wouldn't do it justice. But for our first adventure, we're gonna head right up the road to Wakulla Spring State Park, check out what the park has to offer, and we're gonna take a boat ride. So, I thought it'd be kind of funny if we tried to say the name of the place that we're staying. <laughs> I've been studying it for the past few minutes. There's the name. I'm gonna go with Oaklockany. Oaklockany? No, Oaklockany. Oaklockany Bay. Oh yeah? I'm gonna say Ochlockany. <laughs> I have a feeling we're both super wrong. Yeah, that's why I chose not to say it when I started this uh, video because I didn't want to get made fun of, but I figured they might as well hear how we think it's pronounced. <laughs> also, I say it was Panacea, and the guy in this building right here said Panacea. Panacea. So, and he's from yeah. here, and he didn't know what I was talking about. And we're only like 10 minutes down the road. <laughs> So I've been saying that one wrong too. There's been a lot of really weird names. I also saw on the thing like Wak Wakula or something. Yeah, it's called Wakula Springs. Wakula Springs. He said Wakula Springs, so oh, I did, did that one right. Oh, okay. But uh, I said Panacea and he called it Panacea. <laughs> but the lady at the place said Panacea. So are we like so diverse down here in Florida that just a few minutes down the road changes how they say things? I think we're so Texan that we just keep butchering it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with it. Akalani Bay and Panacea, Florida. It's Oglockany, I bet you. What do y'all think it is? Let us know. Did you enjoy Wakulla Spring State Park? <laughs> For those 30 seconds we were there, it was awesome. The drive-in was epic. It actually was pretty. <laughs> so why are we not doing anything else today? Because at this state park, they have the boat tour that you get to go on, but today it's sold out. So we're gonna try our luck for tomorrow. They gave us a phone number that we can call and book a reservation. So hopefully tomorrow we get to go. So I told y'all in this video we were coming here to do the boat ride, <laughs> but now we're gonna go find something else to do. Okay, so when I started this video, I told you we've been stuck in a camper for three days, and today was the first good day, and we're gonna take advantage of it. But that's probably not gonna happen. Why is that, Alicia? Well, we already told you why we can't go to the state park on the boat ride. So our backup plan was to go to Gulf Specimen Aquarium and they have a really cool exhibit where the kids can hold all the um, sea life. And they close at five and we thought we could get there but traffic was so bad. We're still 20 minutes away, which would put us there at 4.30. So we'd have 30 minutes to enjoy everything. And she said, you really need one to two hours minimum. So. You know where we're going? Where? Good old Walmart that never closes. Now, it's not our fault <laughs> because it is a Monday. It so is. I assumed that the state park would be pretty empty. And I did it on purpose because I wanted to catch the last boat ride of the day because I thought it'd be cool to see the, the end of the day. Right, the sunset. Well, that that affected our backup plan, <laughs> which is now we're on plan C, which is to go to Walmart and get supplies that maybe tomorrow we'll have a full hey. day of adventuring here's here's what i think what's that when we go in here to walmart to get the things we're out of they're probably not gonna have them yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the shelves are gonna be empty with the day that we're having so we might come out empty-handed and we'll go on plan d <laughs> which is i guess go back home and start over tomorrow there we go so good news what's that walmart had almost everything that we needed they did we've had some things on our list for a few months now that we haven't found at other ones but we got it here so for those of y'all that don't full-time, what's it like finding groceries? Oh, sometimes it's super easy and sometimes it's a struggle. <laughs> you know what, I, I feel like I'm getting older because I have an old man problem where I get mad because the same Walmarts aren't set up the same. <laughs> 
Because you go <laughs> to one, and then the you same. go to the next town, you're like, oh, it should be over here, and it's not. Well, and some are <laughs> like triple the size of others, so that makes it a little more complicated when you get to a small one, and you're like, where's the rest of my The The worst part groceries. is like the baby stuff. Oh yeah, there's... Most of the time, they have it in the baby section, yep. and then sometimes they just mix it throughout the store next to the adult stuff. <laughs> so you'll go back and forth looking for something that you put on the list that's not even in the store to begin with. But yep. I'll go to three or four different spots. It's a scavenger hunt. For the most part, I like it, but sometimes it can be challenging to find the things this, you need. This is why people shop at regular grocery stores and pay more money, so that they're always exactly the same, exactly the same size, everything's in the same place place and typically they're not sold out of everything well see last week we were in Panama City Beach and there were three Walmarts so we had our choices right but now the nearest Walmart is like I don't know 30 miles away yeah and this is our only choice until next week and next week's no different it's just it's <laughs> same it's, store different we, week yeah <laughs> but then after that we get to Orlando we'll have selection and there. we'll have all kinds of selections usually when we get to big cities it's just which way do you want to drive exactly okay so is today gonna to be better than yesterday it's already better. We're at the Gulf Specimen Aquarium and it's open and we have time to see everything today, unlike yesterday. So what about the uh, Wakulla Springs boat ride? What's happening there? We had to be responsible and make some reservations and we couldn't get reservations for today so we're going to go and do that tomorrow. So we'll get to do the sunset cruise tomorrow at 5. Have you seen this giant shark right by your head? I have. I hope there's not these big animals in there. I thought it was little cute seahorses and starfish. According to Ashlyn, that's a small one. <laughs> that's a small shark. It probably is small to some, but it's pretty big. Right now, it's the same size as your head. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> What's next to you? What's out there? A shite. A big shark or a little shark? A little shark. Oh, that's a little one? <laughs> I hate to see a big one. <laughs> Kayla, what is that? Wow. What is this? Kayla, what is this? Look at this big old shark. You want to see his teeth? Look. They even have two rows of teeth like they have. That's oh, crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> I want to go and pick up a seahorse. A, a seahorse? Yeah. We told her when we came here that she used to go see water animals because we didn't want to lie to her. <laughs> so ever since her. we left, she's been like, I can't wait to see water animals. <laughs> Ashton, are you excited about water animals? I think they're called specimens. Gulf specimens. I didn't know what to call them. I just said water <laughs> animals. Oh no, Ashlyn, did that crab get you? Did he get you? Yeah. Do you need help? Oh, you escaped. You just playing? So they have touch tanks? Yeah. And they have looking tanks. What's the difference? Green means you can touch, <laughs> red means no way. All right, let's go relay that to the little hands. Oh, He's trying to beat him. You better leave him from outside. Whoa. Okay, Ashlyn. Oh, look look. at this thing. So this is called a horse conch. Oh my gosh. And this is actually, you want to touch you want it? Touch? It's like hard shell. So this, the conch actually pulls oh, itself in and that protects, protects it. it. Oh, wow. are looking at me so hardcore. Look! Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't touch those. Touch. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. Look. He's gonna jump out of the water and get Do you want to be on YouTube? Oh, he wants to be. He's hey. the star of the show. Look at, look at me, look at me frail. <laughs> Sharks. They're nice sharks. They're called work. nurse sharks. Oh, yeah, that's so they're nice. <laughs> oh, so they fix you? <laughs> They'll fix you right up. <laughs>
Carson, what is that? If you that? turn it over, you can see his legs. That's Look at that star face. Legs. Mommy, that's his legs. Uh-huh. Kayla really wants to touch that. <laughs> Are you underwater? Yes. Can you stand up in it? Oh wow! I what a that fish! Oh wow! <laughs> I don't think she understands that she's under the water. Uh, I touched the water. Oh my goodness! What's crab over here being like all incognito. <laughs> I'm a rock. Look at it. What is that Ashlyn? Oh man, look at that guy! You are a big boy. He's huge, right? There. Don't touch his tail. Touch the tail. You want to touch? Touch. You should go underneath and look. It's like he has little legs. He has lots of little legs. Does Whoa, he? Whoa! Look at that thing. It felt like t I know. It's like a claw. Whoa. He's trying to sting me. <laughs> Whoa, that's the cutest shark I ever saw. Hey, say chomp chomp. <laughs> What do you have? A little spiky. A little spiky thing? Yeah. It I think it's called a sea urchin. Can you say sea urchin? Sea urchin. Look at it. I'm gonna bite you. He's trying to bite me. <laughs> It's not? What is it? Ta -ta. Is it a fish? No. Ta -ta. It's not? What do you see? Ta -ta. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's your word for fish. Oh, you go pet him? So what'd you think about the Gulf Specimen Aquarium? I think it was awesome. It's a little like off the beaten path kind of place and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it, uh, it had a lot more touch tanks than I thought it would. I thought there'd be like two or three, but I like the little ones with the crabs and stuff in it. What about those sharks? I can you didn't touch them? Eh, no, no thanks. <laughs> Even if they were called nurse sharks, I think they would cause some damage. <laughs> you actually did touch a thing that was super sketchy. That... I know, we thought it was a stingray, but what was it? A, a horseshoe crab, horseshoe maybe? Horseshoe crab. It had a big long tail, like a If you just seen what was stingray. on the bottom, you wouldn't have picked it up ever again. You videoed it, right? Yeah, it's, so it's not, it, it looks it like an alien. <laughs> it felt crazy. It felt like sharp underneath. So what are we going to do now? Now we're gonna go eat. The local uh, worker here said that Mommy. Posies is good. So we're gonna probably go try out Posies. As long as it's open, we gotta go check. She said the restaurants have crazy hours here. So Mommy. we'll see. Is that a grouper? No. It's not? Kayla said no. Kayla said no. <laughs> not a grouper. Not a grouper. Uh, no. You ready to go? 